Hey folks, how you doing? Uh, this video today is about this box right here, which is uh, from Flavora. And it's almost everything they do minus what I've already got and a few that I didn't think I'd ever use. So uh, thanks to uh, Bryson over at Flavora for uh, putting this together and sending it to me. And we're going to go ahead and unbox it. We're going to have just we'll have just a smell of a few of them, and then I might just uh, put a couple of drops in uh, in a ten mil VG and have a quick uh, quick taste of it. Well, it's done up pretty good. Either that or my knife is crap. Probably both. My knife is crap. Okay. Packing peanut. Okay. Uh, oh, this one. Bottling. 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 Okay. There's a couple missing. And there's one they no longer make that flavour. But hell, still hell. Still one hell of a lot of flavours. Okay, so we'll go ahead and start getting them out. One as leaked. Which is a shame. Macaroon, looks like. Uh, wow. Jeez. <laughs> have one problem with this and that's where the hell am I going to put it because I am officially out of space of course that's a good thing I'm going to have to make some sort of space up there and I apologize for some of my videos with the breathing I breathe out from my nose and this thing's right here I'll have to set something up with the uh, with this mic overhead or something because it does it is a little bit annoying what I'm going to do is I'm not going to I'm not going to open all of these because it's just far too many. But I'm just going to go through and pick out a couple, and um, we'll have a taste. Maybe put a yeah we'll put a little bit in some uh, VG. Let's have a look. Now JFM John from JFM told me that their tobaccos were really good, so I'd like to try one of those. And I see that there's there's an Oriental tobacco here. Let's go ahead and get that out. If I, there's my knife. So let's have that one. Just kind of lucky dip. A few out of here. Is another one looks like it's leaked. Um. Very cream. Tricks cereal. Strawberry smash. Smoke butter butterscotch. That's what I want. Smoke butterscotch. And let's have a look. Cupcake batter. That's good. We haven't got a fruit yet, have we? So let's do a fruit. Kiwi. Just see what we got. Is that dark one? Oh, no, a tobacco. Cork candy roll, cherry filling. Alpine strawberry. Now that's the one that is expensive as hell, um, which uh, we kind of all stay away from because we don't know what it's like. So that'd be a perfect one to. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get these off the desk. Okay. Oh, 
Do you know, I never even got any bottles ready, did I? Hi folks, sorry about that. I was just not prepared. Never had no tissue to clean this out, and no tissue to clean this thing off, which I still didn't do. So I took a quick break and just got everything I need. Um, <clears throat> the Oriental Tobacco, I went ahead and put two drops in and tasted it. Put another two drops in, tasted it, and then put another two in and tasted it. And it's, I think it's where I, where I want it. So just six drops in 10 mil. And we're going to vape it. What I got out of the test in the back of my hand was it was very sweet. No, not not as sweet vaping it. Mm, hard to describe that one. It's got a little sweetness to it. I mean, it's not harsh. But what am I doing? I was just about to pour the concentrate on there, you dumb bastard. That would have... Uh, that would have been fun. Yeah, it's kind of like a dry, sweet taste. Yeah, kind of like very dry, very much like a, like you'd expect a cigarette to be. Yeah, just, just sweet and dry. Um, nice tobacco taste. Um, not the best tobacco I've ever tried, but uh, still nice. I'd say it would probably be better mixed with other tobaccos. Or maybe even a touch stronger. Maybe another couple of drops would uh, would do wonders. Okay. So there's that one. Now I did uh, warm both of these up in the microwave for four seconds each. Ooh, and you can see they are a lot better. I'm not going to uh, froth them. I'm going to shake them. So now we've got Alpine Strawberry, which is the real expensive one. Mmm, it certainly smells fantastic. I've been told that this one is highly concentrated. So I'm going to put in one drop and see what we get. Probably thinking one drop. Let's put that with that one. <clears throat> now, talking to Alyssa, uh, she um, she got me to try the sour apple, and in ten mil of uh, VG, and I put in one drop and shook it like this, and I could taste it just fine. Um, ended up putting th two to three drops in there to get it to my taste where I want it. But um, kind of surprised me that one drop could do that. And I wouldn't be surprised if this one can do it as well. Mm. That's all it needs. <laughs> That's really nice. Wow. You'd have thought that I'd put 2% or something in. That is one drop. One drop of Alpine Strawberry. So if you think about that, it's $17 a bottle and you're only using one drop. There's about 30 drops to a mil. I don't know what these bottles would be. And I think they're 15 mil. Yep, 15 mil. So what's that, 450 drops by my reckoning. So uh, yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> Okay, let's vape it. Got a lovely taste of strawberry in my mouth. It's just perfect. It 
that is really really nice i could just vape that on its own all day long with just one drop of strawberry in it it's bizarre but this is where we're going wrong with flavora i say we there's probably some of you watching this that think well i already know this shit but uh, for those of you that don't and you're kind of steering clear of them because it's five dollars a bottle or more and some of them like the alpine strawberry is 17 dollars a bottle you've got to think what you're getting out of them um we don't mind going out and buying a 30 mil bottle of capella or a four ounce bottle of capella and spending upwards of five dollars where one of these will do that job so uh that, now i wouldn't say all of them will um because i haven't tried them all yet but <coughs> you'll find a lot of them will they really are super concentrated Smoked butterscotch. Not quite sure where to get in the smoke bit. From. Yeah, I guess so. I'm thinking about it. Right, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to put one drop in. Because I don't know what this one's like. I've not, uh, I've not heard anything about this one. So this is completely new. since I've done this but I just want to show you that if you haven't got a throffer or anything you know just just warm your VG up a little bit and four seconds is fine don't do any more you probably melt the bottle put some juice on the outside of it okay that smells not really coming through but the taste is I've, again I've got sweetness probably the vg yeah i've i've got it but not strong enough um, i'm going to put another two drops in just thinking that that's probably uh, do you know what let's just let's do it like we should do it let's just put one more and <clears throat> we'll try it again and if it needs more we'll put in another one we keep going until we get it where we want it you want to be doing this with all your flavors really um, that's really difficult to do because when I get flavors in um, I normally just go ahead and mix with them and put them with stuff that I know <clears throat> that way I know how that particular flavor has changed the other ones that I'm familiar with and kind of know where to use it but I kind of I can't wait to mix with them these are different I'm going to give these a lot more respect and start uh start trying them i am going to take notes on them which i don't normally mess with but i've normally got a kind of a good memory for the flavors that i'm using but this one's going to be so so more intricate with you know one drop here and one drop there yep one more that one is better it's very sweet You know, I'm, I'm going to go two more. I'm going to double what I got in there. I know it's not going to overdo it just by what I just tasted. And that's what you want to do with these. Um, you know, I'm just kind of showing you how concentrated they are. But um, for your own taste, you want to keep on putting a drop in there and, and get it to where it doesn't taste nice anymore or the whole uh, flavor note itself is completely changed. Um, once you get to that point, that's the threshold. That's as high as you want to take that. After that, you're just uh, you're not getting the right flavor out of it. You're not you're not strengthening it. And then you get up to a certain point where it'll probably come back again. Um, and then you're just wasting you're just wasting good good concentrates where you don't need to put that much in. My stomach just rumbled. Okay. All right.
remember if I shook it or not. That's with four drops. There it is. Mm, that's, that's good. I could probably do maybe even five or six. But that, I, the butterscotch should just come out. So I know there are four drops and it starts to starts to kick in. Mm. Now I didn't get the smoky butterscotch flavor when I dabbed it on my hand, but vaping it I do. There is a slight smokiness to it, it's very nice. When I dabbed it on my hand, all I tasted was sweet butterscotch. When I'm vaping it, it's not as sweet. Um, and you get the butterscotch and then you get this like smoky note straight after. And I should mention as well, um, and you'll notice with these new videos that I'm doing, um, we're gonna be looking at these all these flavors a lot differently. Uh, when you, when you get to where this is just starting to come in and just starting to taste, and then you go ahead and vape it, um, because you're not gone too strong, you taste all the back notes and you know you get something on the inhale, the exhale, or aftertaste, you, you, you taste things that wasn't, that you didn't taste before when you were doing it too strong. So um, be mindful of that as well. Uh, you know, sometimes less is more, but I've noticed this. I've been using a lot less of other ones lately and been getting a, a different taste out of them and more enjoyable. Um, of course you've got to get, I say you've got to get used to having a little bit of a weaker mix doing that, but you, you're really not because you're getting so much more flavor out of it. You're just not getting that big whack of flavor straight away. But what you're getting is, is more satisfying flavor and a lot more going on with it, a little bit more complex. Um, something I've not really felt much of, and I kind of listened to some other mixers, you know, and they say, oh, you know, it's got these smoky notes in the background and, you know, a bit of earthiness and all that. And I'm like, what the fuck are they talking about? I've been vaping that for a while and I don't get that shit. Well, go ahead and drop your percentages and just build it up until you can just start tasting it and then you will find it. Okay, well, that's the initial unboxing. Uh, what we've got so far, the Oriental Tobacco, um, may need to go up a little bit more, but um, I can taste it. It's, a, it's dry and sweet. Um, not the best thing I've ever tasted, but not the worst either. Uh, it still felt a little weak, so maybe a, a little bit more flavoring would help. Um, I did do six drops, so probably now eight, which is gonna get me up to about 1%. Uh, Alpine strawberry, $17 a bottle. Is it worth it? Yes, it is. If you, I, it is a very, very nice tasting strawberry. Um, the best one I've tasted out of the Flavora range so far. Um, just real nice. And I put one drop in 10 mil and the flavor is just knockout. Um, it's there. You can, it's such such a good taste. I would say that two drops may even be too much, but uh, you get your $17 worth, um, that's for sure. And it is a very, very nice strawberry. So uh, if you want to treat yourself sometime, you know, for Bull City flavors, have got 33% uh, off of their Flavora like they did not so long ago, um, go ahead and treat yourself to a bottle. Uh, the smoked butterscotch, um, once we got up to four drops, uh, it started to taste and vaping it we got the, I got the butterscotch it um, a bit you know a sweet butterscotch not overly sweet just a just just a nice pleasant butterscotch and you do get that smoky flavor out of it um, it's very well done it's uh, yeah pretty cool but anyway we're, this is gonna be a weekly thing um, we will be doing uh, the Losi Flavora 
Delosi and Flavora are the ones that I will be concentrating on. Concentrate. Uh, con but uh, I think I'm going to do Capella. Or I may just do a mixture of some of them. Uh, but Flavora and Delosi. Um, kind of two. Delosi not many of you are familiar with. So um, it'll kind of uh, help you there. And I am unbiased. I will give you my honest opinion on whatever I'm tasting. And the Flavora, a lot of people stay away from it because they think it's very expensive. And once they've had some of their flavors, they're thinking they're not that good. That's how I felt about them until I started trying very small amounts like this. And then all of a sudden you wake up and get it. You know, it's a, yeah, it's a whole different ball game to the other stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I'm going to go ahead and open these goodies and give them all a sniff and try and get them on the shelf here. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you real soon.